Hello and welcome. If you're looking for a question and a right answer to this particular question, that is, tell me about yourself or introduce yourself. I think this video covers the entire logic and approach how to answer tell me about yourself. Let's begin. Open-ended questions like tell me about yourself are frequently asked at the beginning of in-person or video interviews. To get the conversation started, other examples include walk me through your resume. Tell me something about yourself that's not on your resume and how would you describe yourself? So the, all the questions that I've just mentioned can be a replacement to tell me about yourself. So let's see how we can arrive at the right answer. Now these questions are likely to pop up at every stage of the interview process. From phone screen to final rounds, it's natural to be thrown by these kind of questions. They are ambiguous and it can be hard to identify what the interview really wants to know. But there is an opportunity for you in that ambiguity. Your interviewer is allowing you to choose how to respond. In this particular shoot, you will find tips and what to avoid in your answer, how to structure your response and how you can get started. Additionally, at the end of our shoot, you'd be able to find examples of the question typically tell me about yourself. So why do employers ask tell me about yourself? Tell me about yourself or questions like this are common at the beginning of interviews as they ease both you as well as interviewer. It allows the interviewer to hear a short summed up version of your background and skills and it gives them insight into what experience and qualifications you think are most relevant to the position you are getting interviewed for. It is also not lost on employers that although a common interview question, it still has the tendency to fluster or stump candidates. By answering this question well, you are settling the tone for the interview as someone who is confident, good under pressure and attentive to the qualification of the position. Some interviewers might approach this question as an icebreaker by using your response to spark casual conversation to get to know you better. While others may move directly into other interview questions after you respond. So how to plan your answer? Even for common interview questions, it would be hard to get started crafting your response. To keep you on track, here are a few questions to ask as you brainstorm ways to respond and structure your answer. First one is, what qualities make you a great fit for this particular position? Think of what makes you stand out as a job aspirant for this role. Perhaps it's your years of experience or some highly desired specialization, training or technical skills. Review the job description closely and note ways that you exceed the requirements. Second is, why are you interested in this particular role? Brainstorm why this position excites you, how it fits into your larger career goals and why you feel it's the best next step you are going to take. Third, why are you interested in the company or this particular industry? After you have spent time researching the company and the industry, you should have a better sense of mission, goals and trends impacting the industry. Do these align with the professional goals that you have set for yourself? What do you like and respect about the company as a whole? What excites you about the future of the industry? As you start building your story, tie together similarities among your professional goals. The future vision of the company and industry trends you feel are especially important. Next, what are the positive traits or characteristics you possess that will serve you well in this particular role? For example, have friends or colleagues described you as especially organized, curious, entrepreneurial, generous? Think about how you have long thought of yourself 
or how others have seen you. Then think of recent examples from your life when you embodied that characteristics. Next, is there something unique about your background that makes you stand out from other applicants? As we mentioned, this is one of the most common interview question. Therefore, interviewers have heard this answer time and time again. Try to think of something that will hook the interviewer. For example, saying something like, I've been building computers since the age of eight, when applying for a developer role is likely to make an interviewer's ears perk up. How to answer? Let us get into this question now. How you respond to the tell me about yourself question can set the tone for the rest of the interview. Overall, when you practice your answer, you want to tell a great story about yourself that you can share in no more than two minutes in your response to the following. First, mention past experiences and proven successes as they relate to the position. Begin by rereading the job description. Take note of the required skills that you have identified recent stories that demonstrates them. Ideally, you should draw primarily from recent professional experience. However, volunteer work can also support your narrative while demonstrating a commitment to your community. Second, consider how your current job relates to the job you are applying for. Is it a more senior role? Is it the same role? Is it something you're doing for the first time? So if it's a senior role, explain how you are taking one more responsibilities in your current position. If you're making a lateral transition to a role with different skills, describe how your current skills translate into a new position. Third, focus on strengths and abilities that you can support with examples. When you start building the script of each example, focus on details and outcomes that you can quantify if possible. For example, starting that you improve customer service is less impactful than increase customer service responses rates each quarterly by 10 to 15 percent. If you don't have the exact information, estimate a realistic value. Number four, highlight your personality to break the ice. Since tell me about yourself interview question is about getting to know you. It's about a good idea to share your personality with the interviewer, but not personal details. You may want to briefly mention hobbies that demonstrates intellectual development and or community engagement. For example, reading, music, sports, voluntary work, your social work, any indulgence for that matter. Mark my words, those who are doing this always showcase what is that you have picked up as new or an, it might be a new skill or a new art form or anything new which might be helpful for you to explain better or showcase yourself better in an interview. Discussing personal interest is a good way to wrap up your response while maintaining a professional tone. Number fifth, format your response. For your response to be clear and concise, you will want to make sure you organize your answers following a format or a formula. Now, there are two common formulas you may consider. One is present, past and future. Past, present and future. Let me explain this. Both of these formulas work for your response, but you may choose one over the other based on the roles from your experience that are most relevant to the position you are interviewing for. For example, if your most recent role highlights many of the skills and qualifications that are required for the job role you are interviewing with, you may want to lead with the present. However, if you are making a career transition and your past experience is more closely related to the role than your current position, you may want to lead with your past. That's how the present past future and past present future implies. Now, examples of how to answer tell me about yourself. Sometimes seeing an example can be helpful, though each person's 
tell me about yourself answers will be different let me figure out few for you example one i began my career in retail management but a few years ago i was drawn to the healthcare space i have always been skilled at bringing people together and working towards common goals my experience successfully leading teams and managing stores led me to consider administration and i have been building a career as a driven health administrator for the last 4 years second way to answer is in my current role at abc medical center the efficiency of the office has been a personal focus especially as it relates to patient outcries i set and oversee goals related to department budget and patient volume last year i worked with our it department to implement a communication system for scheduling procedures and protocols to ensure that all departments were adequately staffed all the time with our new online scheduling portal we increase communication efficiency by 20% to stay informed about their ongoing concerns i hold regular meetings with physicians nurses and other healthcare staff in my role i also manage marketing and advertising efforts on behalf of the center i've been really enjoying the part of my work and i'm especially interested in bringing the experience i've gained as well as my commitment to efficiency to the to learn at abc health outside of the office i am an avid reader and i love to hike On weekends you might find me at a local bookstore or exploring hiking trails in the area. The second example could be I have been passionate about design since I was a kid. My parents remodeled their house when I was in high school and allowed me to play an active role in the interior design plans. I knew then that I wanted to pursue interior design as my career i studied interior design at savana college of art and design and graduated after 4 years since college i have been working at an interior design firm in savana georgia during my time there i have been able to build my portfolio through designing both residential and commercial spaces my experience at the firm has built up my proficiencies in billing and cutting edge technologies and it has also allowed me to build strong relationship with local suppliers the most rewarding part of my job has been working in savana's historic buildings this experience has familiarized me with the best in class building preservation moving forward i would love to work at a design firm such as yours that specializes in the design and preservation of historical buildings i believe my experience and passion for preservation will allow me to be a great asset to your design team example number 3 currently i work with xyz restaurant as a hostess i have been there for just over 2 years my responsibilities include greeting and seating customers assessing wait time fulfilling to go orders and answering the phones i love the lovely and busy environment of xyz restaurant we often have friday and saturday wait times of 1 hour or more before working with xyz restaurant i worked in retail as a floor associate for a year this role really developed my customer service skill as i was consistently assisting customers in the store it also equipped me with the ability to working in a team environment I am looking to further develop my customer service and problem solving skills as a hostess in a restaurant environment. I am interested in your restaurant specifically as it has a great reputation for delivering first in class customer service to our patrons while being in a lively and dynamic environment. Fundamentally tell me about yourself really boils down to what do you want the interviewer to remember about you answering this opening question effectively gives you the power to make a good first impression and structure the rest of the interview to your benefit now do's and don'ts for answering tell me about yourself in an interview would be to recap here is a list first of all let's talk about do's 
Connect personal strength to supporting examples. Keep your response to two minutes or less than two minutes. Focus on details and outcomes you can quantify. Avoid summarizing your resume word for word. Speak to what sets you apart from other candidates. Mention past experiences and proven successes. Align your current job responsibilities to the role. Avoid mentioning personal information related to your marital status, children, political or religious views. Highlight your personality. Avoid rushing into deeper conversation about the role and company. Connect your skills to the job description. Briefly mention hobbies, intellectual development and community involvement. Write down an example, answer and practice. Let's also see the other side of it. Don'ts. Mention highly personal information such as marital status, children, political or religious affiliations, etc. These can be sensitive topics that might work against you as a candidate. Not to mention such details should not be factors for the employer in determining your ability to perform the job. List multiple weight strengths without supporting example. Instead, you may want to choose two or three qualities about yourself. Support each with short polished stories that can be supported by your work experience. Memorize your response. Don't do it. While it's good to practice and memorize your key points, you don't want to memorize your answer word by word as it has the potential to come across as robotic and unnatural. Summarize your resume word for word. Instead, discuss high points that are relevant to the position. Or you'll always be focused on what has been asked and delivered. Rush into conversation regarding what you're looking for in the role or how company can benefit you. Save such topics for the final stage of the interview process when they are sold on you as a candidate and you have more leverage. So here comes the clarity of tell me about yourself as a scientific, as a logical approach and come out with flying colors. Hope we have brought enough light on this. Be best prepared. That's the word. Thank you.